So welcome back everybody to Rate This Clinic. I'm sorry I've been away for a little while but I'm back now and hopefully I'm going to be dropping a couple of videos in quick succession. Today I want to give a bit of a different angle and I want to talk about a clinic that people could go to because it's a clinic that I've been following for quite a few months now. They're doing really good work and they're doing it at an affordable price. So obviously with regards to this channel, it's not specifically about Turkish hair mills, but it's kind of evolved that way because my initial experience with Asli was a Turkish hair mill. So it's kind of evolved that way. And a lot of the people watching are searching specifically about Turkish clinics and they're interested in which Turkish clinics they can go to that will give them a good result. So shout out to my Arab and Somali brothers who are always emailing me, especially the London based ones. And they're looking for the cheapest option in Turkey and they just want to go somewhere that's good and that will give them a good result. The message, my message is getting through a little bit so that people are understanding, look, you can't just pay for a hair transplant and be guaranteed a result. You have to do your due diligence and you have to be careful in who you choose. So I'm really happy about that. People are starting to filter through the crap and they're starting to see through the crap, the TikTok style marketing, the garbage hairlines, all of the fake promises, they're starting to see through that. So people are looking for other options and I understand that people want to save money. So I'm going to do my best to review this clinic today, which is FUE Kapilar. So FUE Kapilar is a clinic in Turkey. I believe they're based in Istanbul. I've been seeing a lot of cases from them recently on the Hair Restoration Network, seen a couple on Reddit, YouTube as well. They're doing really good work. So let's just go to the website. So I'm going to load it up here. And there we go, FUE Kapilar hair transplant in Turkey. So the main thing we got to understand about FUE Kapilar is that there are two different doctors. So I believe FUE Kapilar is like an agency. And when you get into contact with them, they will direct you to one of the two doctors who are independent of each other. They're not working as a team. So we've got Dr. Dogan Turan and Dr. Gokhan Gu. This geezer looks a bit like Jack Nicholson. To <laughs> so these are the two doctors involved. I've seen most of the cases from FUE Kapilar from Dr. Turan, but I have seen a couple of cases from Dr. Gur as well, and they were really spot on. So we're going to delve deeper into it. So let's just have a look at the website first. So they've got their promotional video here. And I mean, it's, it looks like all the Turkish clinics have like a stock stock website that they use it's all the same kind of stuff they're just talking about translator they're talking about the experience so i'm guessing they do the whole accommodation thing and city transfers which again is standard across turkey here they have the availability of our hair transplant surgeons 95 percent book now that is obviously a gimmick they've just put that on the website to make people think oh my god i need to get my transplant book now it's probably not true um, but I'm not going to hold that against them for now because I'm more interested in the quality of their services. So here they have F3 Kaplar, Dr. Turan, Proven Expert, 10 Reviews. Wouldn't pay attention to this as usual. So let's just go up and we'll go to Packages and Prices. Let's go here. So... FUE Sapphire and DHI. So if this was any other clinic, I'd say this is a warning sign because usually these are just marketing gimmicks. FUE Sapphire and DHI don't mean anything. You don't care about that. You shouldn't care about that. So just ignore that for the time being. So let's go into Dr. Turan first. So Dr. Turan, he does a maximum number of graphs. Again, that's a red flag, but because I know the clinic, I can overlook it. Maximum number of graphs in one day or two consecutive days. That's a good thing. If they can space operations over two days, that's a good thing. Up to 3,000 graphs in one day. Again, that's very good. So it means that they're really taking their time with the patients. They're not trying to cram in and extract as many graphs as possible in, in four hours so they can get the next sheep to the slaughter into the clinic. They're trying to do things properly. So up to 3,000 graphs in one day. Blah, blah, blah. Payments can be done. Okay, so it doesn't really say much about it, but that's a good sign in and of itself. 3,000 graphs one day. So if we just go back and now we'll look at Dr. Gokhangu, a.k.a. Jack Nicholson. So it says the same thing here. Maximum number of graphs in one day or two consecutive days. Procedures performed by the surgeon, consultation and diagnosis. 
very important extraction extraction of graphs you could probably get away with a good trained technician to do that design very important and opening of channels very important so it's pretty much the same stuff from everything i know both of these doctors do the majority of the work in the operation so they don't outsource it to a team of unknown technicians taxi drivers midwives waiters they're doing it themselves uh, not midwives housewives i meant to say they're doing everything themselves so that is a really good sign for anybody who's considering these doctors. They are doing the bulk of the operation themselves, especially the really important part, like the incisions and the planning and the donor management. So that's the website. I mean, it doesn't really tell us much, to be honest, it's kind of standard fare. So I'm gonna go through some cases that I've seen on the Hair Restoration Network. So there are quite a few that I've seen. So the first one is Dr. Turan here. Let me just switch this off. Dr. Turan, FUE Capillar, November 2021. So this guy, Steve85, he's posting at the three month mark and his results are already insane. He had 4,075 graphs over two days. So the, I believe this is the three month result, which if that is the case, amazing results, really nice results. So this is his beginning stage, quite similar to mine initially. So it's about a normal three really receding corners and he's got this peninsula at the front so you can see that that's it's growing out very thick donor looks decent a little patchy but if that's at three months that can be expected but yeah really nice result hairline looks good result looks nice he's obviously got like a nice trim on the side so that looks really nice and through, if again, if that is actually three months, that's phenomenal work. So carry on down here. Six months here and it's looking crispy. The hairline is looking great. Can't lie. That's looking brilliant. Wow. Looking really good. It must be very, very happy with that one. Donors, donors looking good. I mean, for anybody who's had a hair transplant, you have to expect that your donor area, no matter how good the surgeon is, is going to look a little bit patchy. That looks good. And again there, so maybe he could go a little bit longer with the clippers on the side, but it looks good. I, would, I wouldn't complain about that. Looks amazing. I mean, I've read this thread before, so I'm not gonna go through it too much. But yeah, Steve85, kudos to you. That is Dr. Turan, really good result. So if we go to the next one, FUE Capilla, Dr. Turan, 2,866 graphs. So 26 years old. And this guy, Vital, went to Dr. Turan. So you can see he's got some heavily receded corners and it looking a little bit thin around the hairline on the forelock at the front. And looks like very nice refined work. Like that hairline is crispy. Looks really nice work, doesn't look unnatural, looks very nice. So this is after 10 days and hairline is looking beautiful. Looks very, very nice, looks very natural. It looks rather straight, as in it looks quite regular, but it looks natural, looks very nice. Donor area after 30 days looks decent. There is a bit of thinning, but that is probably shock loss. So if we go here, hair's growing in. And we're going to scroll down a little bit. Three months, so you can see everything is starting to come in. Three months is where things start to happen. And then after six months, hair's obviously got longer. So that's going to create that illusion of density that they always like to talk about. But it looks very, very nice. Really, really good. So if we compare that to here, obviously he's pulling his hair back here. But you can see that there's a difference. Very big difference there. Donor area looks good as well. A little bit thin up here, but looks very good regardless. So I would consider that at six months, brilliant. And I'm sure it's going to thicken up a little bit more before 12 months. So I asked for a photo of his hairline. Hairline looks very natural. I think there are a couple of doubles here. They could be, or they could just be very strong hairs. There's a couple multiples here. And in the hairline, we generally want to keep singles, but... Overall, that hairline, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. Looks really good. So well done to him as well. And he hasn't posted anything since then. So we move on to the next one. So now we got Dr. Gur. Dr. Gur, Dr. Gur. 4,250 graphs. So this guy, Mike Miller, did it in March 2021. And he's posted in August. So that's 
April, May, June, July, August, five months, and he had 4,250 grafts. So you can see here he started out almost full baldy, very diffuse thinning on the top. So not great hair quality. So is this his three months? No. That's other pictures before the operation. So here you go, here are the pre-ops and then the after operation. So they've done the majority of his scalp on the top. Obviously it's thicker at the front where the hairline is and the rows behind the hairline. And then it gets a little bit less dense behind the hairline, which is normal. So week one, still looking bloody. Okay, week two. Oh, and this thread, I wanted to show something as well. So week four. So if we look at week four, he's got really very bad shock loss here. And some people would be quick to say that was over harvesting, but you'll see how it recovers. So it looks, it looks dire at week four, really bad shock loss. And then he's got a little bit on this side as well. So it's a little bit thin. Week 11, that's starting to close up a little bit. Still got a little a couple of gaps. Week 17, hair's getting a bit more prominent. Definitely getting more prominent. And these gaps are almost closing. Obviously, his hair's longer as well. And then week 26, donor looks impeccable. Donor is looking great at week 26. Hair is much, much thicker. A little bit thinner here. Hair is much thicker overall. And then if we scroll down, so October, so well after March, well after March, so, and hair is looking absolutely brilliant. From where this guy started, he started all the way here, and now in October is here. That is a fantastic result. And that's Dr. Gu, so it's not Dr. Turan. So that's the first one we've seen from him, but absolutely brilliant work. And the donor improved, as we saw, Donors looking much better. So sometimes we need to be a bit more judicious before jumping to conclusions and saying somebody's over harvested. You need to give it a few months to see how the shock loss resolves. I generally think that you're not going to get much of an improvement after five to six months. So anybody who tells you, yeah, keep waiting after six months, I don't necessarily agree with that. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. So this is Dr. Turan. This guy, Silk. So I'm always a bit wary about people with one post who come on and they post their final result after a year or whatever it is. I'm always a bit wary of that. So I'm going to treat this with a little bit of skepticism. But anyway, this guy went to Dr. Turan. And you can see he's got some diffuse thinning here and receded corners. He actually looks good bold, to be honest. It suits him a lot. Again, diffuse thinning here, receded corners, Norwood 3. And again, beautiful work along the hairline. Very, very classy work from Dr. Turan. I like what I'm seeing. And look at the extractions as well. Very nicely spaced out. So they haven't taken everything from such a concentrated area like you'll see when somebody gets over harvested. You'll just see dot after dot right next to each other. They've clearly spaced things out because they're trying to manage the donor. It's very nicely extracted. And we're going to try and scroll down and see what's happening. So it's growing. I'm guessing this is a timeline. So it's growing in very nicely there. Thickening up even more. Getting nice and bushy on top. Really good on top. Hairline is looking brilliant. So compared to where he was before, he's so receded at the corners. Hairline is looking good. Looks very natural. And wow, great result. Great result. Donor is looking good. He has kept his hair long. It'll be interesting to see what it would be like if he clipped it shorter. But look at that result compared to that. Very good work. Honestly, really good work. All right. And then we've got one more here on the Hair Restoration Network. So FUE Kapala, 5th of February, 2021. So this guy hasn't actually stated who the doctor is in this thread. So you can see here, he's Norwood two, start receding at the corners. Hair is not that bad though. Again, really nice work, very well done. And let's just scroll through. So here are his picks. Here are my picks nine months later. I'm obviously super happy. And like I said before, they nailed it. 
Absolutely brilliant. Now, I can't guarantee that he's not wearing fibers in here. And he's obviously styled it very nicely. He's just had a fresh haircut, but I think anybody would be happy with that. That is a fantastic result. Dona looks amazing and he's got skin fade as well. Wow, that is, that's almost 10 out of 10 work, if not 10 out of 10. It hasn't styled it, so you can start to see a little bit of the gaps in the front, which is normal for when you have a hair transplant because it's never going to be extremely extremely dense unless you're super lucky but you can see the gaps there but look at that if he wears his hair like that great work honestly great work so it hasn't said who the doctor was in this thread which is quite annoying but i'm i'll take a guess and say it's dr Turan. and there is one more case and i'm going to interview this man hopefully soon so that's grant of hair loss solutions so I don't have any clear pictures of his start and end point, but actually you can see this one. If you look at that, that's his start point and he's progressed extremely well. So if you look at his latest update, I'll just play it. Hair is looking amazing. If I had one criticism of his hair, it's that there are a couple of multiples or doubles in the hairline on one side. And I've been watching his journey. So I've been watching quite closely. There are a couple of doubles but it really doesn't take away from the end result. His end result, he's at, he's not even at the end result yet. Is very, very nice. Hair is looking good. The hairline design is brilliant. He went to Dr. Gur. So check him out, Hair Loss Solutions. Hopefully I'll be interviewing him soon. But he's honestly had a life-changing result. So if there, was a, if, if there was ever an advertisement for hair transplant, this guy is it because it's completely changed his look from what he was before from what his hair was like before to now here you go this picture here day 24 month results wow that's a night and day difference the guy he looks like he's like benjamin button now he's got younger by about 10 years but yeah fue capillar really good work i'm very impressed at what i'm seeing they also appear to be very ethical as well because i've seen them turn away several people who don't qualify for a hair transplant either they're too young or their hair loss is not stabilized, or they don't have a good donor area. So I've seen them turn people away. So that's that's a real plus point. Very ethical clinic. Very ethical clinic. The price point is good. I think they're about one euro twenty five per graft, which is a still. Forget these two thousand euro clinics that are gonna bot you. These guys, you're gonna pay a little bit extra, but it's way cheaper than some of the top doctors in Europe. And I think if you are a relatively uncomplicated case, like you're not a very high Norwood, maybe you're Norwood 3 or Norwood 4, and you just want to improve your hairline a bit, I think these are a great, great option to go to, especially if you've got a virgin scalp, you're not a repair patient. If you are a repair patient, I wouldn't go to anybody but the elite. And I mean the elite. But if you're a first timer, these are a great option. There are a couple of others in Turkey, which maybe I'll cover soon, but I wanted to talk about this clinic for a while. Full disclosure though, I have seen one very, not very bad, but one bad case on the Hair Restoration Network. I tried to look for it for this video, but I couldn't actually find it, which is really annoying. But basically, I think the donor area was quite poorly managed and I think the hair on top also didn't grow in very well. But I need to I wish I could find it. If somebody can find it and send it to me, I'll be very grateful for that. In the end, a representative of FUE Capillar did try to address it with the patient. They got in touch with the patient and I'm hoping they've tried to sort it out somehow. And look, no, no clinic is going to hit 10 out of 10 every single time. Nobody scores a penalty every single time. Sometimes you're going to miss. Sometimes the keeper saves it. Things happen. So I'm not going to jump on a clinic where they have one bad result or even two as long as it's not the norm for them. As long as they are doing good work most of the time and they're treating patients with respect if something happens and they try to fix it for them, that's the main thing for me. And that's what I saw from them in that thread. So I'm not alarmed at all. Hopefully it's a learning point for them and they try to improve. But yeah, I haven't been sponsored by... FUE Capillar. I'm not out here trying to sponsor people for the Vera Clinic or getting paid by Asli Tarjan to post videos about my journey like other people. This is just a completely honest and unbiased review. 
maybe if I could have gone back in time and FUE Capilla were around back in the day, I would have gone to them for my transplant. But I hope that helps you, especially you Arab and Somali brothers <laughs> who are always emailing me. There you go. That's a good option for you. Anyway, hope that helps and I will see you on the next one.